Hello, what do you Steve? Welcome back to Surviving Mars Below and Beyond. Last video, we got this mainly set up, and then we figured out what our mystery is. We have the Dredgers mystery. This is going to be a normal difficulty one, and I admit I didn't do a ton of reading into the mystery. I think the last time I had this one, if memory serves, is when I was playing as Russia. Way, 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 way back in the day. So we've got that going for me. Coley is starting to wrap up, which is a good thing because I'm kind of sick of having this power depth. So I need to get some good surplus going. And I also need to get this factory up and running. Um, big reason for that is that um, we're going to need a lot of machine parts. I'm probably going to actually order up some machine parts. Um, I did the math right before I hit record on this one. I need about 100 machine parts up here and a little bit of con and a little bit of electronics so I can make that happen right me out go ahead and do this oh it's expensive damn it's really expensive three rockets worth of uh machine parts coming back that I have or sorry rare metals I have to send back so I'm definitely gonna start by getting my rare metals up and running we've got some metals here I thought you guys were bringing over a ton. Alright, um, let's see. How many, how many metals I got here? 105, 124, perfect. Grab all the metals you can carry from both sites. You get that up and running, we're gonna turn this guy back on. He's gonna immediately need to need maintenance, which is okay. I'm gonna turn all of these rare metals extractors online, because I want them all to start getting loaded up with materials. Oh, that's right, I have, a I have a depot right here. I keep forgetting this actually has a depot built into it, because it's kind of buried in there. We need some, uh, the electric, the scrubber, and the MDS laser online. And I do think getting this area built up before the dredgers show up is a good idea, because once the dredgers show up, I'm going to have to start, like, dealing with them in a way that's uh, economically efficient, I guess, is the right word. I'm going to go ahead and hook this guy in power-wise. This guy in power wise. This guy in power wise. Be a little mini grid set up for all this. We got 200 sponsor research for getting 40 Martian born specialists. That's actually really helpful for me. Got multi spiral architecture being researched. That's going to be the Oval Dome. All graphic scanning, conservation landscaping, interplanetary projects. I don't have the electronics to do the, uh, whatchamacallit that I need to do? Uh, the Omega Telescope. So it's going to be kind of an issue. I'm just going to kind of wire it out this way. That works. This guy's hooked in over here. I am going to kind of all interconnect them. That way we do have some continuity of power. I don't know why I'm doing this exact setup, but I'm just feeling a little crazy right now. It's, uh, it's 520 in the morning. There we go. So these buildings are hooking in. We got our first, uh, one coming online right now. And this guy is going to be offline until this guy's built. So we're just waiting on the last little bit of metals for these guys. And also waiting on, yeah, we got a lot of metals that they're needing uh, loaded up right now. That's why I'm bringing over two tri uh, two hay hay's full. Um, there's no fuel over here. And I'm fully acknowledging this when I bring this rocket down here. I actually do need to bring up essentially up one load of fuel to resupply this guy before I can send him off. Anomaly found. I'll take that. We do have a meteor storm active right now, which is going to be good. Some of you will pick up a little bit of extra free research. There we go. We got our first, we got this guy coming online. So now we're starting to pull materials. This is good. This is a good thing. Electrostatic dust storm approaching. Oh, come on, game. This game, you were trying to kill me this week. More than usual. Hmm. Oh, well. All right. I'm going to change the skins on these guys. Do this, this, this. It's just so you don't have that bam, 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 bam. It's to mainly just keep you on a little bit smoother. I'm also in second shift now, which is okay. It's also by closing these jobs off, I don't have to worry as much about.
the um towards 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 are these eat concrete crap but a ton of metals up here they don't need them up here now all right well machine parts are up here that's important all right so we need the concrete grab a little concrete you grab a little fuel and i do have access to shuttles by the way i just haven't built them yet Oh, well, actually, I don't think I have access to shuttles. Hang on. Hold up. I'll make this desired amount of 30. We have no fuel allowed here. No food here either. Don't need them on these sites. And here we're also not allowing exotic minerals, Meteor food, fuel. Incoming. Oh. Oh. There is no coverage for this. Um, okay. I'm just going to let the inevitable happen, but this is going to suck with a capital suck. Because, um, that's my train station with all these materials on it. I don't have taps queued up here. I'm going to try to find it, but uh, let's say goodbye to our train station, folks. Wait, what? You took a direct hit from a meteor, dude. What the hell is this thing made of? I'm not complaining, but I'm curious. Meteor incoming. Oh, my little one's up. Let me take care of this real quick. Yeah, she's back down for the moment, so let's go ahead and keep this going. I'm probably going to have... There we go. We do have some tracks that are meteor broken. Incoming. Okay, probably not going to do this. Um, nope, nope, nope. Leave, leave. I can get back in there. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a problem, this meteor storm, for the next meteor day and a half. Incoming. We're now. Wow. Okay, the train's definitely going to ass handed to it right now. Resources are low. Mm, agreed. But thankfully, the power has not been cut. It's more just the flow of supplies have been cut off now. If you want to unload you here, unload you over here. Get this rocket meteor back to... Incoming. Eh, uh, this is going to continue to be a problem, I think. Make that a priority. But I... I don't know if I actually went up there or not. Oh well. Yeah, we're going to lose some stuff here. That's fine if he just needs maintenance, but the fact he's being destroyed is a bit of a problem for me. Oh, let's turn you on, too. Good lord, where's the... I'm trying to find all the the warnings here. Got so many popping up on my screen. Let's, let's clear these out. All right, I got the concrete extractor, so we can start building concrete to get the metals extractors. Incoming. That one's fine over there. That one's fine over there. And do extend? Where do range extenders? Do I need to get this set up? Let's get signal boosters actually queued up. I'm gonna move this up a little bit higher. And by higher, I mean I'm actually gonna put it at the top. This will actually extend the drain range of the drone hubs and drone hub extenders by 15 hexes. I don't have any drone hub extenders, Incoming. mind you. Yeah, <laughs> these tracks are just getting absolutely destroyed. This is what I get for building up where I built. That happens. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn these guys all on. Resources I'm going to start low. seeing uh, nanites Meteor get this stuff over coming. here. Except for this one. I'm going to turn that one off because it's about to get hit. There we go. I'll turn you back on now. Meteor incoming. Oh, that's bad. That's actually bad. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen a rocket lost by a meteor impact before. I'm going to think of it. Okay, one drone just got absolutely destroyed on that one. Oh, we got seven hours. And of course, with the Meteor event, incoming. this is going to... Stop trying to kill my robot. Um, with the event going to continue... This is good. We're going to deal with this for the next uh, four Soul 17. Is there concrete over here? Oh, we're out of concrete. Actually, we burned through it all. That works. Right, because we only had 45. Should be okay on that front. Yeah, now we're producing metals. Meteor incoming. 
Come on. Also, my, uh... I'm, I'm also burning through all of my concrete right now, because every time the track gets a hit, it's like we're getting concrete being diverted from other projects for it. So, we're running into problems here. Right, electronics is critically low. I think that's also because this guy, yeah, this guy's off. Um, you're on, you're on, that works. You're gonna stay off for a while, just because I'm gonna bring the other stuff online. All right, we have you now protected by an MDS. Goody, goody, goody. I lost two drones. Shit. The second losing the second drone is actually more of a hit than I'm willing to admit. All right, how many machine parts do we have over here? Forty-three. We also have four drones available here. Let's deploy our prefabs because realistically, this this site needs a lot of drones. Um, I'm also out of electronics, refueling. Can't do much with you right now. The Heavenly Storm. Mission Control. We've got an update on the status of the Meteor Storms. And it's not looking good. The initial evaluation of the situation with the Meteor Clusters has been miscalculated. The scientists from the Near-Earth Object Detection Program has predicted that with a significant amount of the meteorite stream will fill the space between Mars and Earth. While the thick atmosphere of our home world isn't be enough for protective of eventual impact, the threat of any spacecraft will be past tolerable. To address the situation, Earth Control has canceled all space flights until further notice. Great, and I'm sitting on nine electronics. You can see where the problem's coming in real quick. Rockets will not arrive until the situation with the meteor impacts is resolved. However, rockets will, inbound rockets will still land on Mars. Let's do this, though. Let's actually put some people to work here, and I'm actually going to do a stop work shift there. Actually, take a shift off of that. Boom, boom, boom. Problem solved. We're going to start getting electronics built. Or built, made, you know what I mean. And I'll point out too, after a little sip of tea there, that this is the the, the Russia playthrough when I was doing the dredgers. That was the first actual colony failure I had was during a dredgers mystery. So I'm not saying that I'm gonna fail this one. I'm saying that I'm probably gonna have problems. Go ahead and make sure you guys are on all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time. And I do like the idea of maybe putting some more wind power up here. Up here wouldn't be too terribly bad. Let's do that. Nope, not solar. Wind. Meteor incoming. God damn it. Oh, right. Multiple meteor storms. Up quiet. Alright, tracks have been repaired. We do have broken segments, okay. Alright, let's go ahead and bring you down here. I'm gonna come up here. How much concrete am I sitting on up here? 0, 0.0. Gotcha. Let's come down here. Ah, here we go. Here we go. We have concrete here. Got some concrete here. Astro's moved out of range. A drone hub has malfunctioned. Okay. We're kind of a shit creek up here right now without these materials. Also, big boost on stuff coming in right now. Electronics. Where are my electronics head now? Electronics. So it says I have 10. Close the store. Oh, wait, wait. You have five on board here? Stored electronics, two. But 0.6? God damn it. Give me the full one. There we go, 1.1. I'll utilize this. Alright, come down here with him. We'll get the tracks fixed up real quick. This will actually allow the... Uh, resuming the... This will allow supplies to keep flowing. Alright, drone's gonna take care of this real quick. This is where artificial muscles or having the... Ooh, that's gonna be helpful. I don't have the materials for it at all. I'm critically short on everything right now. Resources are low. Yep, not gonna disagree with you on that one. But we can get the tracks fixed up, which is totally fine. Like he uses one electronic, the 1.1 electronic I was able to actually scavenge on the main colony site and get my drone hub repaired over here because that's kind of needed. Go ahead over here. Ah, yes, we can actually use this for anomalies. Signal boosters. Wait a minute. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up.
Where is it? Okay, this is factory AI. I don't need that. Um, I don't have print electronics yet, so drone assembly doesn't work yet. Yeah, I'm gonna hold off on those uh, things at the moment. Thank you for doing the right thing and repairing that drone hub first. All. All right. So let's actually allow refueling of you. I don't know why this guy is such a low priority. I actually no wait. I know why. Meteor incoming. Wow! Dazzled by a lightning strike and then destroyed by a meteor. This guy's having a day. All right, back down here now. Let's see what we gotta do here. Uh, India's got a trade out, which doesn't help me at all. Th wow, the sensor tower is going through the motions. <laughs> I still got some stuff, I still got some research popping up, so I mean, I gotta be optimistic about that a little bit. Alright, we've got Resources electronics now. That are being produced. Where are you guys hiding them all? Two. Anomaly four, found. Five. All right, I'm gonna bring Hey Hey down here. Hey, do I have? Yeah, I have a scrubber right here. I was looking for. Like, do I have a scrubber that's doing this thing that I need it to do? This is helpful. I mean, I'm having. Between 3,000 research and 4,500 research just sitting there, ready to be utilized, I'm kind of for it at the moment. And if I can get, really, if I can get 10 electronics, maybe 20, be really, really happy. Nothing here either. Right. Ooh, we got some anomalies too. More things I can't do. Resources are low. Yeah, this guy really needs to be online, like, right the hell now. Alright, what do we got? Do Project Rain for resources. Chariot for resources. Flamingo. Engineer. I don't want to do this one, because I gotta work down the, the tech tree first. Interland for botanists. That one's been there for a while. And Tungsten. Botanist. Damn, I, yeah, I need to get like, another one more farm built up. Just so I can guarantee I have a seventh botanist, like the tenth dentist at this point. Um, you are, wow, slowly, slowly, slowly getting loaded. Yeah, and you got hit by what? Can I fix you with, ha, 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 ha. Okay, that's just cheeky. So the RC commander needed to be repaired because I'm guessing he got dusted or something. And was able to be repaired by the one, by its one drone that hadn't malfunctioned. MDS is up and running, thank God. All right, do we have enough for this? We're still short by a little bit. And the main issue here is just making sure I've got the materials for it. Uh, you guys are storage, really? Right, drones. Um, okay, next load, next rocket load. I just want this thing to. It, right now, the the serious issue at this point is like they just don't have any place to put things. Um. Let's go ahead and do the little cheat to doodle thing I found for the rock formations. You can actually use... So the rock formations with the nanites will actually pull from other sites. I'm going to low prioritize it just so the nanites will actually do this stuff on its own. But you can use the nanites to pull waste rock to build this and you get 250 then when you demo it you get half of it back you're essentially you're building these rock formations up and getting rid of them to essentially eliminate 125 waste rock with each go with it, it it's a long ass process and it it's definitely not a long term this thing works process it's just a process uh meteor storms are over for the moment probably gonna get another one popping up here in a mo uh, second just because my luck and I don't keep it on going. Water. Shower incoming. God damn it, game. Why? Why do you do this to me? 
All right. Well, I'm fretting over things that I have no control over. I'm gonna pull two drones off of you. You have 14 here. You have eight here. I can't justify taking any more off of you guys. All right now, I'm gonna go ahead and put these other two drones over here. Your singular drone. Cool. You're actually working on getting this guy fueled up to ready to go. So I want to send Tangashima back. Even though I don't have any other rockets available to me, I want to go get those. Um, damn, I've lost half my genius colonists. Don't think I haven't noticed that numbers drop precipitously over time. Once our rocket goes back, though, I can most likely utilize it to get... Hey, you're loaded up. Awesome. Google BF2. It's a C-type asteroid. I'll go ahead and do a detailed scan on it, see if it's even worth looking at. 47 metals, 15 polymers on the surface. This one actually is worth checking out. All right, so we're going to edit our cargo payload. There's an asteroid for those. I'm going to take machine parts just because it's kind of my standard loadout. If something happens to the rocket, I need to be able to recover it. Take all the metals off because we're not going to need those. Not gonna need those. Need my explorer, my transport. Request it. I actually do have drones Research still assigned complete. to him, so we're going on that front. Signal boosters is done, which now watch this. Boom! The drone hubby goes even further than it did before. I love it. It's actually good technology. Another meteor storm. That one just started, by the way. Alright, and you're up here. There's good timing because this guy's about to need maintenance. Drop it down here, actually. A fourth anomaly. Yay. Incoming. No. Ah, damn it, game. And this is actually in range, so I can actually repair this guy pretty quick. The train is right there, by the way. Didn't actually get hit. Meteor incoming. Wow, this game is actively trying to kill me. All stations on red alert. Unidentified object on course for direct impact. Mission control, our sensors are detecting a large impact incoming at high velocity. Judging by the data from our telemetry, its mass and speed are great enough to cause major damage on the surface. It will be wise to evacuate the area around the projected point of impact. I'm getting guess this is right on top of where my domes are, by the way. We could be wrong, but our initial visual readings of the object show that it has an unconventional form for a meteorite. Strange protrusions can be observed from the back of the object. Could this be something different than a meteor? You know, I've got two meteor storms coming in. This is on top of the Armageddon event that I've got going too, so keep that in mind. Meteor I'm... incoming. Wow, I might actually lose it. I might lose the train here. Nope, train's still there. <laughs> the train is there. Air quotes. The tracks are broken on it. Uh, yeah, I totally agree. You have a massively heavy drone load right now. Hey, I got 2,000 advanced resources, so I got actually 2 billion dollars, so I can turn that into 10,000 research or just emergency supplies. Probably going to be the latter at this point. Uh, let's go ahead and get an automated electronics factory here. Resources are low. Suck it. I saw that rocket. I saw that guy coming in for me. There you go. <laughs> Planet fall. We finally get a visual on the target as the dust settles. No one at Mission Control can believe their eyes. We haven't seen anything like it, and it doesn't look like something man-made. I don't want to overstate things, but this could be a first contact situation. It's up here, by the way, and it's on top of a water deposit. That works for me. Meteor incoming. Okay, yeah, I get it. You want to? Okay, you are. Yeah, you're heading up. Problematic Moxie. Jesus. Um, we'll go ahead and do this. Moxie will not work for 24 hours because I actually have enough of that. Let's go ahead and click through these things. Mission Control. You're not going to believe this. We couldn't either. Whatever this thing is, it's not a meteor. The object hit the surface without decelerating. We expect it to burst into pieces from the force of the impact, but it seems it possesses immense structural integrity. The most astonishing thing is that it has moving parts. From what we've observed so far, it seems that it is trying to burrow below the crest of the planet. It's so now we're able to take a closer look, should the risk be worth it. We have an anomaly there, and we're going to go check it out with this dude right now. Um, once this meteor storm abates, meteor I will go incoming. ahead and send stuff up here. There's just too much going on for me to really justify doing anything at this point. There's, we're just getting slammed. 
I'm actually was a little worried that MDS was not going to be up for the task. Um, incoming. Yeah, see, this area is just getting absolutely destroyed. Oh, how do I get to that anomaly? Resources are low. This is also why I didn't want to be putting people on the tracks too, because these people in this uh, train car would suffocate. So it's very important you don't, if you're doing an Armageddon playthrough, you have something like this. It doesn't make sense to trains because the tracks are very vulnerable. Mission control. We've received the preliminary report from the landing site expedition. The RC Explorer is on site, awaiting further orders. From the spectroscopic data gathered from afar, we know that the object is covered with a, a robust crest of silicates and metal despite its organic appearance. The tentacle-like protrusions are inanimate, and it seems they serve as support columns for the main structure. The operators report no activity from the object except its continuous excavation. It is either inanimate or it pays no heed to our presence in the area. The RC Explorer operator requests permission for a close inspection. We completed Here, go for the close it. inspection of the object. Though the expedition rover's malfunctions were a heavy price to pay. The RC Explorer ventured within mere meters of the object and conducted a series of field tests and observations on it. The operator scanned the object with radiological and spectroscopic equipment and extended a remote probe to its carapace, gathering tiny samples of its crust. When the RC Explorer approached the object to perform closer interaction with it via the telescopic arms, the digging process of the object caused a minor crust collapse and it nearly smashed the front of the rover's hull. This didn't appear to be a deliberate attack, but the damage is evident. It seems the object possesses immense strength as well. Despite our setbacks, we gathered important data and have already sent it to our sponsor via encrypted transmission. We are sure the commission will value our efforts greatly. We received $125 million in funding. Yay. The RC Explorer suffered a malfunction. Boo. The object extracted resources from beneath the surface. Ooh. Right, I need a drone. You. You. There's a drone. You. Come here. Recharge. I'm going to go send you to fix this guy. Then I'll go up to the... Uh, uh, asteroid that's passing. One thing I will admit, Meteor incoming. with how many meteors you get in this game, do you just have no machine parts up here? Okay, this is gonna hit. Yeah, see? Alright, let's go ahead and send you... Alright, oh, I can't actually launch either. That works. Alright, come down here, gather machine parts, scope the asteroid. Googly moogly. Seriously, no anomalies up here either? I bring these rockets up here for the specific, er, that specific purpose. Admittedly, this is one that wouldn't be too terrible to capture. I'm not doing capture missions right now. I'm just doing, let's just get the stuff we need to get the hell out of here missions. Meteor shower incoming. Yeah, I get it. So we need machine parts up here desperately. And I do think this guy's going to need to be boosted, but also, remember that dust storm hit, I was talking like, hey, it would be cool to make some more power plants. Let's do some of that real quick. Just have those there, and I could probably do like wind turbine, like the small wind turbines in behind it. It'll be fine. Alright. You've been repaired. Cool. Uh, we're working on multi-spiral architecture right now. We might need to table that. I do see these down here. I like this one, but I don't like this one, especially with its location, because it's like, oh, here's a free billion dollars, but if you spend your outsourcing on it, you're spending one billion dollars, 5,000 research to get something that costs you 9,000 research. It doesn't make sense in my head. But I am going to do this instead. I'm going to outsource. It's going to push through conservation landscaping into my projects and late crafting. It's going to get these three and get these done. Then from there, I can go do those uh, missions up in the asteroid or those planetary anomalies. I can get those up and running. You can use those. This whole site is offline because I don't have enough machine parts going at the moment. Um, we need how many concrete for this? All right, we need... Let's see if we need... Shit. We need a lot of concrete for this. More power. Always good. Dust Devil. Always bad. I'm gonna put you there. And this guy's gonna need maintenance because, of course, he does. I need to build the second one, actually. Unfortunately, with these guys, you have to double them up. It just. It's just how it is. We 
have the electronics here? We do. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab some concrete off of here. We've got, yeah, we got plenty. That should be enough. Come down here, bring you down here. Cool. We got this guy going. I'm going to factory AI him. I don't need factory amplification right now. These two will de dust each other. I think I'll probably go a little bit leaner on that. There we go. Only taking 3.2 power. But this will hopefully prevent it from needing maintenance in the future. And then this guy will get de-dusted by this. It takes an investment, but you can very quickly get those guys up and running. I'm over the 30 minute mark right now, but it is Friday's, or I guess my Friday airport video. But this because I do these Monday through Thursday. Let's pop over here real quick. About to drop down a storage depot. Now let's turn you on for auto stuff, because I do see some, there's a lot of exotics over here, which is good. Do you see some pol around 15 polymers on the ground. Uh, this rocket, this, uh, Meteor shower oh, bad. Incoming. All right, pulled you back. I spent way too much on this video just dealing with the disaster that was the dredger approaching. I felt like I didn't get much done. Even with this being built and online, I don't feel like I got a lot done here. Um, I think it was mainly because it was like quick resupply, 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 fix the tracks, resupply, resupply. Um, could probably dedicate a drone for this. Let's actually pull one more off here. So wait a second, down here? Do I have any drones down here? I have eight drones kicking down here. And we just need electronics, machine parts, and exotics. I have 178 of 200. I have 26. The day claimed our last living founder. Okay, cool. Um, all my exotics that I have up here. Meteor incoming. Go away. Mission control. We've detected another incoming object. It never ends. The similarities of the first object are obvious, but we can't confirm the identity on the new one. Our scientists speculate that it would land in another mineral-rich region. Our sponsors suggest that we maintain visual contact with the object but keep our distance as its intentions or defensive capabilities are unknown. Our sponsor contacts on Earth rifled through any data for a mission launched by another competitor on Earth. And what we've seen so far would be far-fetched to suggest that these objects are of extraterrestrial origin. By the way, the sponsor HQ dubbed the object Dredger, as it requires to maintain coherency in our documentation by using the same call sign, a new Dredger. Is about to land on Mars, whatever it is, it is definitely our problem. All right, and that problem will be dealt with next week, just because I'm over the 30 minute mark and I probably need to get to work at some point today. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching. Felt really busy in this video, and I'll see you all in the next one.